Here's more from Dr. Paul Atchley on the seven stages of distraction denial. Stage six, I can't afford to lose productivity in the car. I'll take the risk. Just going out to meet people for lunch, I like to be readily available via phone, uh, text messages and calls, so I definitely will have that close by when I'm driving to a meeting. Take calls while I'm on the road, yes, I do choose, but you know, it's my choice. I try to make myself available at any point in time, so I'll usually actually set myself up to make a few calls while I'm on the road. You know, the internet explosion has led to an ability for us to stay connected to people in a way we never have been. Now that can be good and bad. Some of you probably are addicted to email and wish that it would just go away. But when it comes to phones, they provide you with an ability to reach out and talk to people at every moment of your day. And in many cases, this is a good thing. You want to call your mom when you're not connecting with her enough. Or if you're a worker, you might want to do some business on the road when otherwise um, you would be thinking that of as dead time. But here's the problem. The problem is that when you try to do two things at the same time, you do them both less well. And when it comes to communicating, if you're driving, the driving is causing you to communicate less well. The driving task is tapping into your prefrontal cortex, which you need in order to be able to do mental math or pay attention to the emotions of others or be rational. And so when we actually looked in the laboratory at effects on productivity, we did a negotiation task, for example. We found that people had a 30% reduction in negotiation performance when they were trying to drive and negotiate compared to not driving and negotiating. So that means contrary to what people might want to believe, Working while driving is counterproductive, and more importantly, it distracts you from your primary task, driving safely. From a productivity standpoint, what it means is that you're remembering less, you're invested in the conversation less. We've all heard people talking on the phone when they're driving, uh, mm, uh, right? And if I'm a customer and that's the salesperson that's talking to me, I don't feel special. And I also know that they're probably really not listening to what I have to say. Let's test how well your driving focus can stand up to a client call. Hey there, just wanted to give you a call because we liked your samples and may be interested in placing some orders. I do have a few questions though. We liked the red, but the sizes you sent may not be quite right for us. What other options do you have? Anything smaller? Oh, and we really liked the blue, but the logo isn't quite right. Is this something you could help us customize? If so, maybe we can work out a deal for a large order. When the National Safety Council has looked at companies that have put in full bands, most of the time they say productivity goes up, not down, because people aren't in the car calling back to the office, holding a meeting with no agenda and only half present, disturbing folks that are otherwise working. We find that uh, productivity doesn't suffer because you then have a chance to, to really send a signal, I'm paying attention to you now, and this is important to me, and that turns out to be a much more productive use of time. When managers refuse to talk to their workers, if their workers call them when they're driving or don't call workers when they're driving themselves, that's a strong cultural signal for safety. And it's those cultural signals that really sustain change and help us remain safe in spite of all the pressures that we might otherwise face. And what we find after a year is when people actually stick to it and then they start to notice how distracted everyone else around them is while they're driving and how dangerous driving really is. And they discover that um, they can get through a, a day and a week and a month and a year without doing this and the company doesn't fall apart. They become the biggest advocates.
either you're fully paying attention to the conversation, you're invested in that moment and that interaction with that other person and everything that that can bring to you, or you're not. I think most of us want to really be present when we're connecting with others. And being in the car is not a great time to do that. That's a wrap of stage six. See you next time for the final stage of distraction denial, accepting the facts.